Our next guest can give us a little bit of the state of the business from space and from terra firma. Joining us right now is Iridium CEO Matt Dash. His satellite communications company is in the Barron Investment Folio. And, of course, Ron Barron is here as uh, is continues with us as we're at his conference today. Um, Matt, let's just talk about your, your stock, which is doing pretty phenomenally given the market overall. I think your last trade was above $50. 52-week high was $52. So you're bucking the trend. And I think part of that has to be is because you guys have invested a lot of money over time. All of that heavy CapEx investment is now starting to pay off. That's right. We're, we're both a growth and a free cash flow story. I mean, uh, uh, for a long time, we had to build a brand new network, and so we had to spend a lot of money. Now we're in the process of sort of reaping the rewards of that through a, uh, an extended capital holiday. And uh, we've long promised that we would pay back shareholders once we got there, and we're in the middle of doing that right now. And obviously, that's, that's paying off with lots of lots of free cash, but also a lot of growth as well. People uh, look at the company and what you've done is come up with this space communications, but there's a lot of questions about getting handsets and having cell phones that are going to be connected uh, via satellites too. And this has been uh, something that there's been lots of speculation about. I think the last time we heard from you, I, um, the idea was that you would be looking for potentially a mobile handset partner. Where, where are you in that search? So. Uh, We've been working on this for a couple of years. And in fact, I probably wouldn't have said anything except Apple kind of teased uh, for quite a while that they were going to, uh, well, people were, were speculating that Apple would get in the market and they now have. Uh, we had planned to do that and we still plan to do that. Uh, we've been developing the capability, but we really were going to wait until our partners announced the capability, uh, the, you know, but really our network is perfect for it. You know. Uh, uh, satellites around every part of the planet, a really a global offering. It's ideal for connecting small things, highly mobile things, uh, even, able, even able to get into consumer devices like smartphones or watches or, or cars or things like that. So uh, we're excited to introduce the offering over time. I unfortunately had to sort of tease who it is, uh, but we'll just have to wait for the next uh, period of time before we're able to say But that. you have a partnership and we should expect this in the next year or two? We've been working on this a long time, yes. Yeah, so you're like ready to go. We're, we're almost ready to go here, yeah. Ron, you've been an investor for a very long time. Um, nine years was the first time you got into this. What, what attracted you, what drew you in? So, so we're the largest investor in the company, is that right? 11 or 12%? Pretty much so, yeah. You beat Saudi? Yeah, uh, yes. No. <laughs> And so what happened is that one of his directors is a friend of mine, uh, Buzzy Krongard, and Buzzy was the head of CIA, the head of uh, Alex Brown and one of the top people at the CIA. And so he called me up about nine years ago and he said that Iridium is in the last round of financing. They need the money to complete their, uh, their constellation and uh, they're doing an equity offering and would you be interested? And we have some interest in, and he says, I have $6 million invested in this. And that was a big deal. And so. Uh, so I said, well, who do I talk to? He says, Matt Desch, and Matt happens to be, according to Buzzy, the best executive he's ever met in his life. And he's on the board, and he was head of, uh, you know, Alex Brown, sold his Bankers Trust. Anyway, he says that, and then he sa I said, well, how can I meet him? He says, here's his number, and uh, so I called him on a Thursday afternoon. We spoke for a few hours. Then uh, he said, what, are you interested? I said, yes, can we meet further? He says, I'll come up tomorrow. Comes up, I'll uh, spend all Friday together, talked over the weekend. Uh, he says, you still interested? I said, I'm interested. And then we talked on Monday morning. And uh, I said, I got a few more questions. We talked about that. And uh, then I said, and I said, okay, I'm in. And, and he said, well, how much? And I said, well, I'd like to buy 10% of your company uh, at, you know, $7. Uh, and if you do it at any lower price, I want that price as well. And because we're going to invest in the equity, uh, you're also doing a convertible bond. And that's going to be a hot deal because the equity is going to be sold. So I want to have 10% of the convertible bond also. He said, yes. And so we bought 11 or 12% of the company, $7 a share. Uh, and uh, yeah. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.